Okay, so in my previous video, we talked about pelvic floor, how to know when it's closed, when it's open, when it's up and engaged, or when it's down and relaxed, and how to just kind of connect your brain to that area of your body. So now we're gonna go through what does it feel like with a core breath. And this is, a core breath is very, an intentional breath where you are looking and feeling for all the things, okay? It's not how you breathe all the time, all day long, but we're just gonna be very intentional about it. So your pelvic floor is a part of your deep inner core cylinder, right? And it, you have your breathing diaphragm, which is a broad muscle, cross-section muscle right here in your body. And then you have your pelvic diaphragm, your pelvic floor, okay? And that's the top and the bottom of this deep core cylinder. So they, along with your ab wall and the other muscle components of this, they control pressure in our abdomen. All our activities cause some amount of pressure. Um, so they control the pressure and they also are a stability system for your spine and your pelvis and the nervous system for activity. So they generally at rest, they can work together. So if we had an MRI of my body and I'm just sitting here and breathing, I have a gentle movement up and down. So when my lungs fill with air, my pelvic diaphragm inner core is meant to expand a little bit. And then as I blow my air out, everything comes back together. So we have, have this natural motion in our body, a natural spiral in our body. Again, during activity, it doesn't always have to be exactly precise like this, but we're gonna do a core breath. So what I want you to do is I want you to first think about inhaling in, and when you do that, I want you to expand this whole cylinder to the front sides and back. I have another video on this, going through the details um, so you can find it if you have questions, but that 360 degree breath, okay? So we're gonna inhale in, thinking about that 360 degree breath, expansion to the front sides and the back, which is usually lacking, right? And then as we exhale, we're gonna do it gentle for now. And I want you to think about blowing seeds off of a dandelion all the way to the last seed. So we're getting a full inhale and a full intentional exhale. Now, when you're getting those last seeds off the dandelion, your body may want to kind of crunch, kind of grip, kind of close down and move your skeleton to force air out. I don't want you to do that. I want you to stay nice and long. Your rib cage is stacked on your pelvis. Your head is relaxed over your shoulders, kind of like a helium balloon, just floating there, no tension, okay? The other thing that's gonna to wanna to happen when you take a breath in is your body might want to go up into here, kind of expand this way, suck that rib cage up. I don't want you to do that either, okay? So we're filling and then keeping that length as we exhale. So let's try it out. So think of nice fill, like a six to eight second inhale. Front sides and back. Okay, now start blowing your dandelion. Now keep long if your spine feels like it wants to compress. All the way to the end. All the way. And just pause at the bottom of your breath. It's very hard to do and talk at the same time. Um, so what I want you to feel, you can keep doing it. What I want you to feel is how as you exhale that air out, your, as long as you're keeping a long spine, your diaphragm, breathing diaphragm, is almost like a plunger. So it comes up and your pelvic diaphragm responds and everything comes up without forcing, without gripping, without turning anything on. We're just using that central pressure control system. So try to sense that as you do this. And you can also think about it as you expand, as you're inhaling in, your pelvic floor stays relaxed. Don't worry about doing anything with it, but just thinking, okay, I'm expanding, I'm taking in breath, I'm staying relaxed. You might wanna think about your holes of your pelvis, your three 
holes if you're a woman, opening and expanding. Now, can you sense your pelvic floor wants to come with you as you're exhaling? So just help it, just let it know to come with you. Again, it's not a deep contraction, but just that lightening and that lift is important to find. So see if you can do that maybe six to eight times, thinking about, I'll do it with you one more time. So nice and stacked body and expand as you inhale. Good, pause at the top. Now exhale slowly. Stay long and tall all the way to the end. And just pause at the end, the bottom of your breath and just appreciate it. And just try to connect and feel that system.